Okay, um, here is a hoop soap which I've done lately. I have been inspired by Mr. Ted Koba from Japan, and this is, I guess, is going to be a response video regarding his work and my replications. This is one example of the lace test uh, hoop stove. It has capillary action and even uh, very good efficiency as far as a stove is and also it has a very uh, quick prime up time. I have a few examples of different work that, has, that uh, Mr. Tektoba has done and I'm going to show you some more of my work that I have been doing lately. So that was the hoop stove. Okay. And uh, I have uh, a roof stove here, which I also done, replicating Mr. Tektoba. Okay, this one have uh, 16 rift and 16 jets. Okay, with 0.8 millimeter. Okay. And again, here is another rift stove, which I have made the same as uh, this one, but uh, it's a bit higher. Um, I was just trying to reduce the uh, the uh, thermal feedback um, because I thought uh, it would tend to run away a little bit. Um, at the half time of the burning of the uh, methylated spirit that I'll be using in it and I will also show you some uh, burnout times in my next video this is my introductionary video here it's my first time doing one and uh, well um, here is an example of another hoop saw this is the first one I made it works well as well, but I got a little defect when pressing up at the top part. I think it didn't come actually very straight, but well, I've done a better one over there. I also uh, made another hoop stove, this time from the large beer cans, and uh, it has also the same design with the hoop inside and. Uh, decreases and the uh, and uh, this is a side burner here which was meant to put to put the pot just right over it and it serves as a pot stand as well it works very well as well and uh, I had to use some JB weld underneath between the rift here and uh, the top part okay this is made of uh, uh, actually three bottoms okay three pieces like this from the beer can and one is from here the one is upside down which is inside has the creases and the top part is laid uh, in this manner and pressed in I also managed to turn out the lip here it's a bit dark I think but I think you can see it properly uh, another example of the hoop stove I had uh, these spray cans the large ones with the with the strong uh, aluminium here but unfortunately the neck that I had available wasn't so long so I had to cut it short uh, to get uh, that but instead of making it uh, in the conventional manner I also managed to make it in the form of a hood soap as well and it works very well and I also instead of uh, having a round lip here I uh, managed also to turn out the lip okay and flatten it down with a piece of pipe and this one is also a side burner and it burns very efficiently here I have also uh, 
one of the older version of the hoop stoves this is a 9 jet version with the with 9 jets and I didn't have any carbon felt at hand so I used some uh, oil lamp wick instead it works fine I will light it up for you uh, in my next video and show you that it works as well okay here is also a conventional stove which everybody makes with the wall inside but this takes about a minute to warm up but it also works um, I also made a stand here which I use with my hoop stove and uh, I do it like this okay so those are my basic that's my basic work for the meantime and I also managed to make a stainless steel uh, cross pot stand I didn't find any locally here so I made one myself here is also some kind of pot stands which stands also as a windshield and this one is made out of a piece of perforated stainless steel it's rather heavy in a way but it works well and uh, you can put your stove uh, well here maybe okay and you can put the pot right on top of it okay so that is my introductionary video I will uh, explain my work and also some basic tools that I use in my next video.